Okay, so there's one more GT Beyblade that has come out as I'm making this video. And that is Wizard Fafnir. So we're going to use the white drain Fafnir layer. Because I feel like for a mon and like a prototype, it looks pretty nice. And I feel like I want to use this one. So for the middle, the middle is flow. And flow, it's it's basically nine with a free spinning part. But we don't have a free spinning part. So my choices were either use nine. Because it kind of has the look. And if I use nine, it won't be as bad. Or I could have used a different layer and my other thing was using 13 i get 13 and with 13 i pull up my old friend maximum garuda put on the f frame and do this and neither of them are bad options they're just not like the right options i think we can stick with this one because this one has the outer bit that he needs a little and then for the driver, the driver, I knew exactly what driver I wanted to use since I begun, or since I had began, and that was the guard driver. And now, so he's, he's, he doesn't have the life after death ability, because he still does touch the floor. And let me just see something, because he has a life after death ability, like, like, like for death. Nine, yeah, so... If you don't know what his gimmick is, is that his bottom is flat, not round, in the real Beyblade. And that allows him to stand up, kind of like, let's see, who is it? Who is it? Uh, where is he? I don't know who it is. Kind of like, here he is. Kind of like this driver. Like the special moths driver, the hold driver. When I put the hold driver on him, you'll see that after, like, after a little bit of attempting, he eventually won't just like he'll eventually stand. Like that's what I'm trying to get. So like if he'll just stand there, that'd be perfect. If he doesn't yeah, it's so like that. He's not touching the stadium. And that allows like if I send in him, then to try and be able to spin steel. And it's not a bad idea. It's, it just might not work as well. Using a tap tap driver, so I'm going to be using guard. And we're gonna do a couple of things. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to determine if we're going to use this layer, the middle, or if we're going to use nine. And the way we're going to do that is by putting them up against the same Beyblade. So we're going to put this Fafnir up against Ace Dragon. We're going to put Wizard Fafnir up against Ace Dragon. We're going to hand spin both times and see who does it better. So we're going to start off by doing this Ace Dragon. And then here's Wizard Fafnir. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we'll give him one more attempt. There we go. He actually start draining. There you can see the drain working out. The point. Ooh, it was a tie. It's a tie. It's not as good. It's not as bad either. Now we're going to try nine. And the reason I'm even thinking about nine is because nine, the flow kind of looks like that. So I'm bringing it up. So let's see. So same Beyblade. So dragon and dragon. So this one does it better. I'm probably gonna use. So yeah. So this one shuffled a little. And we'll give it one more try to see if maybe it can like send a bad hand spin. But it looks like it's not doing as well. So yeah. So because it's not doing as well, we're going to be using thirteen. Maybe using thirteen F. And I think I might. In between cuts, I think I might find a different one instead of 13. Because 13, I just feel like is random. So yeah, this is Wizard I don't really know what part to use, so I just switched it out for 8, because that's his regular combo. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to just set him in the stadium. And see how good he is at having the life after death ability. Which is basically saying, without any spin, he can still revive. So, Slash Valkyrie, you're going to try and awake him. Here's Slash Valkyrie. See if he gets anything. Okay. So nothing there. So we're gonna send him there in. But this time we're gonna send two Beyblades. So there is a dragon. And oh, slash Valkyrie this one. Okay, that could have gone better. Could have gone a lot better. So, so next up we're going to try using someone else to awaken him. 
Let's see, let's see. We'll use here. We're gonna use Emperor Fornius. So Emperor Fornius is coming in. We'll let it Emperor Fornius and slash fell three. Someone to help them if someone told them to bring in the hit and move them. Ooh, that's a little bit. Yep. Ooh, that's a little bit. Okay, we'll do one more. One more. So here we go. Ace Dragon. Let it Huh, it might help if the Beyblade stays upright. You know. <laughs> I heard I think I heard that somewhere. So yeah, so let it Ooh, yes. Ooh, Wow. I mean that's what that's not what we were looking for, but he did still win. It was very interesting right there. Okay, and then come on, slap. It might help slap out the phase in. So this is the phase I'm trying to just use the materials. Right now I just want to see if it works. And you can see the minor movement coming off of him, but not a lot. So that was test one. And now for the actual battles. So the battles, I'm gonna launch in Fafnir first. We did Fafnir. And then I'm launching the Beyblade, because Wizard can drink. So, here So that's Wizard. And here's Slash. So with Wizard, I'm only going to be using the homemade PT base. And that's because I want to be able to I want to be able to like test him because I feel like he's going to be able to like this combo I want him to be able to. Now I think I'm going to just actually switch up the layers but that's all I have. Okay I got blue Fafnir because it was annoying me a little. I thought it would be better with the white one for mod but nope the blue one's better. So let it there is Wizard Fafnir. Here is Slash Valkyrie. I'm going to say Slash Valkyrie, but let's see. And the points going to go to. It looks like it's going to go. It looks tough. It looks like it's going to go to Wizard because of the draining. And. Yes. Okay, Wizard Fafnir, here we go. Wizard is in in 3, 2, 1, light. Okay, interesting movements. Really interesting movements considering it's a stamina type Beyblade with a defense tip. Okay, and let's see. So the real Wizard Fafnir, he's kind of bad. So we're just gonna see if this one's any good. And he is. I would say so at least. So Wizard did pretty well. So on to the next big one. This time we're gonna do spin that. Uh, this time we're gonna do spin stealing. I have Boosh and Share. I like change the middle to Glaive because I think it's better and I think it's more accurate. So and let it. So there is a hand spin. So Wizard should be able to steal spin pretty well. I mean, it is only the Fafnir entire gimmick. So, if you can't do it, you won't like that other one. Oh, that's really good. So, two point, here we go. Three, two, one. Let it rip. And rip. Oh, nice little jump on him to get started. Sit back here, but it doesn't matter. That was a really nice match. It had some drama, it had some action, it had some really good damages. And that's Fafnir already done with his second opponent. Okay, so next up we have Ace Dragon. And Ace Dragon will be the last person. He's just gonna be a regular battle, so let it go. And let it rip. There we go. So there's Ace Dragon. I think I'm just gonna do one match with this. And that'll be the end of this video. So let's see, let's see. It looks like this one's going to be okay. Looks like this might be Fafnir though, because the Ace Dragon combo is kind of stamina centered. And that's purely because the driver, the only one that's closer to the real one, is stamina centered. And the point. No, that was Ace Dragon, so that was pretty good. So, last thing I'm going to do is I want you to have one last attempt at life after death. So, we're going to send in Ushin. We have to send him in last time. And of course, slash back to get I just want him to be able to just 
do it because that's just a real gimmick. See, come on. Jump. Here we go. We're going to try maybe two more times. Go. And let it grow. I'm in two because I feel like he could have several parts when he stole on the stadium. One won't be enough. But you need one to jump him up. I mean, one baby to jump him up and then another to catch him when he goes up. So last attempt, let it rip. And let it rip. Okay, that's not, we'll do one more attempt. We'll do one of Ace Dragon and, yeah, we'll do one of Ace, have I done Ace Dragon and Winning Boxer? I think I have. I don't think I've done Bush and Share them. I think I've done all of the three of them. So we're just gonna do one more for fun. We're just gonna send in all three, see what happens. So let it rip. Let it rip. And let it rip. So that's the video I have for you guys. Wizard Craft was okay. It was fun to make this video. Hope you all enjoy it. See you all another time. Bye.